Uh, we are going to be making Instapot lasagna soup tonight and I am going to jump right in and get started. Uh, we're going to start out by chopping some vegetables and getting some stuff prepped. So we'll get right into the video. Okay, so I didn't realize I wasn't recording. I only chopped a little piece of the onion off. Um, so we're going to start with chopping an onion. I'm just going to peel off the outer coat, put my garbage bowl, Ooh, this is a red onion. My eyes are gonna be weepy. Hooey. Mm. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Very, very strong. Whoop. And it says uh, garlic cloves, but we don't use garlic. I use shallot um, just because I have a sensitivity to garlic. And so does my husband. And it still gives it lots of flavor without uh, being overpowering. Wow, I really... That is one strong onion. And I just um, am going to pull this apart because there is actually two in here. Ooh. I'm gonna move these onions out of the way. Excuse me. Now I'll save this other part of the shallot to use. Wow, I really have tears streaming down my face right now. Sorry. Onions. You make me crap. Then I'm just going to cut this in half. And you can see, kind of, uh, when you go to chop it, will have its own little dice pieces because of the way that the onion is or the shallot is. Just do a rough chop on it. Then I will set it aside. Now we just got one thing to chop, and then we're good to go. Okay, so the next part is chopping up the chicken sausage. Um, this is a Weight Watchers recipe, by the way. It is on the Weight Watchers website. It is the Instapot uh, lasagna soup. Six points on blue. I will put the plan, um, the points for all plans down below. And let's see, this is 12 ounces. I'm gonna put the whole 12 in. Um, it calls for eight ounces in there, but I'm gonna put the whole 12. So I'll probably add more stock in there as well to make it a little bit more 
uh, a little more soup. And I just rough chop these. There's no science, you know, need to have it so many inches or whatever. Um, and these are the uh, basil pesto is what these ones are. Um, my husband got them at Giant. But you can pretty much use any kind of chicken sausages that you would like to use. My nose is still running from that onion. My word. Whoop. And I just half them and then I turn them over flat side down and cut them in half again. And then just chop away. You could probably use like a andouille sausage one if you wanted it to be a little bit more, have a little kick to it. You could even use turkey kielbasa in this. Um, I've done that before and it works really well. And now we are going to put everything in the Instapot. Okay, so now we get to put everything into our Instapot. Lid off, set it aside. I want to make sure I got my instructions here so I know how long to put it on for. Um, we start out with the saute function. I'm gonna spray some cooking spray in here. I just used the one from my local, local grocery store. Which is dying, evidently. And then we are gonna add in those onions and the shallots. I'm gonna add in some s and p some salt and pepper get these sweating a little bit and i'll be back when they are sweating while the uh onions and the shallots are sweating i'm going to go ahead and break up my noodles so i get the just regular lasagna noodles and you just want to break them up. Doesn't matter how they break, just into pieces. You could even do this vegetarian with a, a vegetarian sausage blend or something. Or you could use uh, like Jimmy Dean's turkey sausage crumbles in there. Whatever you want to do. I mean, it's really versatile. Oh, I'm going to have a mess clean up there. And I'm also going to grab my Italian seasoning, put a little bit of that in there. I never, I, I don't stray too much from recipes, but I do a little bit. Just because I know how I want things to taste, you know. Oh yeah, I should take it. I'm 
I'm gonna go ahead and add in the sausage. And we're gonna add in our stock. I have a little bit of extra from another meal that I'm gonna put in there. Since I added extra meat. jar of marinara. Oh, that won't fit there. Let me grab my little small one. If you ever see little sets that have these little ones, don't pass these by because these are slept on a lot. And last but not least, we're going to add in the lasagna noodles. And then I always stir it around just to kind of get some of the onions and the meat on top of the noodles so that they're not totally all stuck together. Going to place our lid. Oh, come on. Put our lid on. And we are going to cancel the saute and we're going to put it on soup in 35 minutes. And it'll automatically start. And that's it. It's real simple. You could even do this like if you're working from home, you could put it together on a break, um, you know, like pre cut everything come up on your last break, put it in and boom, you can schedule the timer. You can have it all, all done by the time you're off work. Uh, it's rather great. I do it a lot. Uh, so I will see you back when it is done. Okay. So we are done 35 minutes later and we have soup. It looks really super good. Got your noodles in there. Mmm. Can't wait to dig into that. That just looks so good. And we are going to serve it with a nice salad. And uh, have a good night. So I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.